Hi, I'm Peter Lewin. Welcome to Blood Sugar Magic. In today's episode, I'll talk about the most common side effects of insulin. The information provided is intended for Australian audiences only and is general in nature. It does not replace the advice given to you by your healthcare professional. Please read this disclaimer and the following terms and conditions carefully before proceeding. This is part four in our series on insulin. This series talks about how insulin works in the body, what happens to insulin in type one and type two diabetes, its common side effects, and how to manage and avoid hypos. The most common and serious side effect of insulin is hypoglycemia, or hypos for short. Hypoglycemia is when the blood glucose falls below normal levels. This is defined as falling below four millimoles per liter. However, the symptoms of hypoglycemia can occur at other levels depending on the person and the situation. Some reasons that hypos occur include not eating enough carbohydrates in your meals or snacks, using too much insulin, delaying or skipping a meal, increased or unplanned physical activity, or drinking alcohol. The more alcohol you drink, the higher the risk of hypos. The following are some symptoms of mild to moderate hypos. In most cases, hypos can be treated by eating or drinking a small amount of glucose-rich food such as some jelly beans, glucose tablets, or a sweet drink. Remember not to use sugar-free products to treat hypos. It is important for people on insulin to keep a source of glucose on them at all times just in case a hypo occurs. If the hypo is not treated soon enough, or if the hypo is severe, then the person may lose consciousness. When this occurs, someone else will need to inject a medicine called glucagon. Glucagon is a hormone which causes the liver to produce glucose. This glucose then enters the bloodstream and causes the blood glucose levels to rise. If you live with someone who is using insulin, then ask your doctor or diabetes educator about what to do during hypos and how to use a glucagon injection. If hypos are left untreated, then the blood glucose may continue to fall. The hypo can get worse and can cause confusion, clumsiness, slurred speech, fits, or loss of consciousness. If the hypo is severe enough, it can become a medical emergency. It can cause seizures, coma, and in the worst case scenario, death. So it's very, very important to treat a hypo immediately. Another side effect of insulin is weight gain. This is because insulin stimulates the formation of fat in the body. Insulin can also cause irritation around the injection site, such as redness, itching, and swelling of the fatty tissue in the skin. If you develop a rash all over the body, and not just around the injection site after using insulin, then you may have developed an allergic reaction to that brand of insulin. If this occurs, then talk to your doctor for further advice. Please don't be alarmed. This is a very rare reaction. For more information on insulin or type 1 diabetes, look at our episodes on these topics.